Hello you guys, good morning from Arizona. We got little Josie girl right here. I'm so glad that I brought this because this has been entertaining her as I've gotten ready. The boys are coming back from Target to get the last couple of things, but we arrived last night super, super late because our flight got delayed by an hour. So we didn't get into the hotel until like midnight and then <laughs> We didn't fall asleep till like 1 a.m. because I had to feed Josephine one last time, put her down. This was her first time sleeping in a pack and play, so she was kind of like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this, but she did really good. She slept all night. She didn't wake up till like 8.30. We got, we, we woke up pretty late, considerably. So today is day one, full day in Arizona, and we are so, so excited. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little room tour while I have the opportunity. <laughs> She looks so cute in this big bed. So we got a room with two queen size beds. Um, Lucas and Steven shared a bed last night. I got my own bed, which was so nice. And this is where Josie was sleeping last night. Just a little pack and play. We got her sleep sack. They already had it set up for us last night, which is really nice. This is the view from our hotel, which is so nice. It's a little bit hazier. It was this morning. But I just love the view of the mountains. I think it's so stunning. Um, just look down below though. I'm so excited to explore the grounds of this hotel. They also have these really beautiful, like Arizona, obviously, inspired paintings all over the hotel, which are just so, so stunning. Um, but yeah, so this is our room. Got a little TV there, table, chair, and then we have like a closet right there, and then this little setup here has been nice. We have a little mini fridge. Um, they gave us some water. This has been nice when trying to heat up water for her bottles. A little mirror, and then here's the bathroom, which I love. I love bathrooms that have this like vanity light or this, this ring light, whatever you want to call it. It makes doing your makeup just so nice because you're actually able to see without like some really harsh fluorescent lighting. But yeah, so. Our shower, very nice. We actually used that this morning. It felt great. And yeah, that's our bathroom. But you guys, look how big, how tall these windows are. Now that I'm all the way back here, really pretty. Almost forgot to mention, we are staying at the Hilton North Scottsdale of Cavasson. This is definitely not sponsored, but in case any of you were looking for places to stay in Scottsdale and have young kids, we wanted to stay somewhere that was reasonably priced and had sort of a resort feel to it. In case we needed to take a break and come back to the hotel, we weren't just stuck in our room. This Hilton was perfect for that and for our four nights day, we would come back midday, have some lunch and just hang out by the pool with the kids. We'd freshen up and then head back out later in the day. Wanted to give you guys a quick outfit of the day of mine. This dress is from, I almost said Princess Polly. It's from Pink Blush. Hi baby, we're almost leaving. I have this really pretty dress from Pink Blush and then just some white cowgirl boots that I never got to wear because we never went to Nashville when I was very, very pregnant. Had to cancel that trip, so I never got to wear them. So I'm wearing them today. Here's little mama's outfit of the day too. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Are you in a good mood this morning? Yeah, you seem to be. Wow, look at your cute little outfit. You baby doll. Yeah. <laughs> you little baby doll. Are you so excited to explore Arizona now? This is your first trip at only two months old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're just waiting for the boys. They should be here any minute. And then we're going to head out. We don't have like a super strict itinerary or anything. But I do think today we are going to try to do the botanical or the desert botanical garden. Last thing I'll say though, for any of you mamas out there that are curious, we took a later flight. We took a flight that was supposed to leave at 7 p.m., got delayed until eight, um, but the kids overall, they did really well. Lucas was in a good mood the entire time and Josie did really good too. I ended up having to wear her um, towards the end, but she ended up falling asleep on the flight for about 
45 minutes, um, which was nice because I almost felt like the airplane, the motion of it felt like a car, which she likes, and um, just all the noise was just like one big white noise. Um, but then after a while, she actually woke up, then she got super cranky, um, which I don't blame her, but overall, they did really, really well. and well I got breakfast Steven did not get anything from this really cute little coffee shop um, called Bert Bertinez I'm pretty sure Bertinez you guys let me know if I'm pronouncing that wrong but I found it off of Scottsdale's um, Instagram account just one of the coffee shops they recommended um, but now we are headed to the desert botanical gardens I'm so excited about it because anytime we travel we love looking at botanical gardens, whether we're in San Diego, what was it, Kansas, right? It was technically uh, Kansas when we went. Um, they're just always so pretty. So I'm really excited and the weather is so nice today. What's the temp outside right now? 82. It's 82, but it's breezy. At 11 a.m. It feels really good. So we're gonna take advantage since it's semi early in the morning. Um, it's only gonna get 89. We got really lucky with the weather this week that we're here. Um, it's not gonna get anything above like 96, I think. Tires. But we're really excited. doing our loop around the garden and it got hot fast. It got hot fast. I put Josie girl back in her stroller, but it is so beautiful over here. We saw a little lizard. Um, apparently they have tortoise and like rabbit. They have a whole ton of little critters over here, which is so cool, but we've only seen um, <laughs> the little lizards. And then Lucas is a little afraid of the cactus because we have told him before that they're very pokey, so don't touch them but now he's just terrified and just wants right. to leave. <laughs> All right, well, we're headed back, but wow, this was definitely an experience and highly recommend you come like first thing in the morning because even now it's getting, it's getting pretty warm, getting a little toasty. Does that feel good, Bob? You can say hi. Hi, look, wave. Oh, it's so nice out there. Look at that. We had no idea this was here when visiting the Desert Botanical Gardens, but this is called the Cactus Clubhouse, which by the way, their opening day just so happened to be the day we came, but this was the coolest thing. The price to get in is included with the garden admission, or if you live in Arizona, they also offer memberships, so I would definitely check that out. Lucas loved this space. They had so many activities for young kids, both indoor and outdoor, it was honestly just such a great way to cool off and slow down from our busy morning. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a botanical garden that has this little like clubhouse set up for kids to escape the heat. This is adorable. They have all these little binoculars. They have that outdoor area. This is really, really cool. They even have somewhere for them to sit and read. How awesome is that? Hi, babe. What are you gonna look for? Whoa. What are you gonna Can find? Can you see stuff? Hi. Can you no? see? My... <laughs> it's not working. You can see. So cool. I do want to include in this vlog just kind of how it is traveling with two kids since we have a newborn and a toddler. Um, so after we left, we 
ended up just driving around a little bit because we could tell Lucas was getting really tired and I just knew, we knew he's not gonna fall asleep. He's not gonna try to sleep in the hotel. So he fell asleep in the car. We drove around for about 30 minutes. So we took a little 30 minute nap. Josie's sleeping. He's awake now, but we are getting lunch to take back to the hotel at a restaurant called The Thumb. And um, this is actually a restaurant, but it also, it's also um, a gas station, which is pretty cool. We had seen it in a couple of YouTube videos when looking at for places to eat out here. So we're gonna take it back to the hotel and then we'll see what we're gonna do from there. I really wanna go to the pool, but we have a couple days to do that. But yeah, we are so, so hungry. <laughs> Shut it! Bah. are at McDowell, Pre Pre McDowell? Sonoran? Sonoran? Preserve. We are at McDowell, Pronoran. Pronoran? We are at McDowell, Sonoran Preserve for the sunset. It literally closes in less than 10 minutes. But I have the sun setting behind me. We got a little fussy baby. But the view is insane we're definitely gonna come back to do the trails we're gonna come back out here tomorrow. yeah we're coming back out here tomorrow because we just ran out of time today but it's beautiful like, oh no look at that view well there's a tree in front yeah the sunset behind you guys is so pretty baby girl baby girl Look at that. Should I tell them how I spent $67 on breakfast and it tasted like ass? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, you guys. God. <laughs> um... That was a great way to start. <sighs> That's all I can think about. Day two. Good morning, you guys. It is day two here in Scottsdale, and we're starting off the morning at McDowell Sonoran Preserve. I had to look up my phone because I always get the Sonoran part wrong. I'm very excited. This is like one of the few trails that we can do with kids and a stroller. There are so many other like nature hikes that we wanted to try, but cannot do with children um so we're gonna miss out on those but it's okay um we're just waiting for lucas to wake up right now he fell asleep in the car um and josie's like sleeping all day long but both kids are asleep so we're waiting for one of them to wake up we want him to rest though as much as possible because he's just a little bit cranky this morning um and we want to have a good day we want to have a good day it's just the reality of traveling with kids but he's been really good and like in a good mood throughout the trip so far and he's been having a really good time and like I said we've been really good with the weather so I'm excited to do this trail once they wake up yeah, yeah. I did. oh my black heads <laughs> yeah that place was bad he didn't like Jojo's coffee house. so far the food in Scottsdale has been yeah it's been very good. expensive what everyone wants to hear it's true they need to know the truth you come here you'd be broke <laughs> <laughs> we got josie right now. we've been making so much noise and lucas is still asleep <sighs> it's all right it's so pretty out here though it feels great it's breezy lucas, are you looking at the map? what is that a map yeah. okay so you're gonna tell us where we're going all right, let's look at your map. It is so pretty this morning, Bubba. And the breeze feels so good. What was this, the loop trail? It's called a Pick cactus. Kofi. Look at this one.
Lucas has a map. He's leading the way. This trail that we're doing is a very leisurely stroll with the kids. It's about, a, you said half a mile, babe, this one? Yeah, I think it's a mile total. Maybe a mile, oh, yeah. Half a mile to a mile total, and then the other trail that you that could be done with kids in the stroller um, is like it's called Loop Trail. I'll put up the name on the screen, but oh, we've already made the loop. We're already back. That was pretty easy. Good morning. It is day three here in Scottsdale. Our last full day in Scottsdale. We head over to Sedona tomorrow, but we are we on the Apache Trail right now? Or we're getting in there. In 1.4 1. 1. miles. Four miles. And we're not in Scottsdale anymore. Oh, well, <laughs> what, we're we're staying in Scottsdale tonight. <laughs> we're still staying in Scottsdale, but we are about to be on the Apache Trail. Yes, my love. And it looks really pretty right now. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna flip you guys around. My camera was like weirdly getting going in and out of focus but now it's working again look at that view and look even just view, look at that view you want the ice water okay hold on please so anyways apparently Stephen just told me today it was a surprise but it's a very scenic drive which I'm excited about yesterday was probably like the chillest of all the days that we've had um, and yeah I'll take you guys along for our last day here You're my best boy. <laughs> Lucas, do you see the view, babe? He's like, nah, I'm just chick. <laughs> he's, he's looking at the flies. Lucas, wave. Wave, baby. Wow. <laughs> we are so in the mountains. Canyon Lake. Canyon I Lake. Go, I want to go on the water so bad. It would feel so good right now. But Look at like, how many cactus. Like, to like boat through those cliffs and stuff oh, yeah. would be, they, re they rent boats. I don't even know if you gotta be careful with. this footage is doing the drive you justice. You gotta be careful with leaving his window down because he can throw stuff out the window. Oh, I only did that for the baby. Uh -oh. Um, I don't even know if this footage is doing this drive justice, you guys, but oh my gosh, if you guys are near Sedona, or like near Sedona. the Apache, oh gosh, Scottsdale. And it's Apache, not Apache. Know, Apache. That's what I meant to say, babe, Apache I know, but I'm trail. trying to help you out because you'd be sounding all goofy sometimes. No, I was, you were saying something as I was saying it. No, like yesterday when you were, the Seminorium. <laughs> Seminorium Preserve, I don't know. Anyway, anyways, I don't know if it's doing it justice, but I highly recommend it. It is such a beautiful drive. Wow, like we are both shocked just how amazing it is. So we're not even done yet. Look at that! That is so beautiful, wow! We're at the Goldfield Ghost Town. I had to wear a baby girl because trying to bring a stroller is just not always the business. This is pretty cool though. Okay. Lucas, we're looking for the ghost light, remember? Yeah. From Cars, if you guys know my reference. <laughs> the ghost light. Daddy, looking. Ooh, it's a hat shop. Ooh! You wanna go look? Yeah, let's go I look know inside. You love hats. So, you've been trying to look for one too. Look at all these hats. Can we look okay. at them? These are really nice. I'm not hungry yet either. Are you hungry, mommy? Huh? Are you hungry? Um, I'm getting a little hungry, yeah. Your, your eyes are looking the other way. Hi. You're not even gonna remember Let's go this down trip. there. Cause you're gonna be sleeping. Then can we go down there? Yeah, come on. Oh, this has to be the cutest shop here. Okay, Avery, stop. Avery, stop. Oh, these are adorable. Look at that. 
the cactus shop. So you can see it. What's the fuck? That was an old jail. It's so dark in there, you can't see anything. That's kind of crazy. You fit inside there? Do you fit in here? I don't think so, baby. You do. I'm stuck. You're stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Track? Hurry, grab my hand. Grab my hand. Ooh, ah. Lucas, you're trying prickly pear soda. This is cactus soda. He's it's like, good, what? huh? Yeah. yeah, you like okay. cactus soda? No, I don't like cactus soda. That's what you just drank. No, I don't it's like pink. That's interesting. It tastes like candy in a bottle. But it's also refreshing, like. I definitely couldn't drink the whole thing by myself. Lucas could. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of sugar, bub. You're lucky you're on vacay. Oh my, he just said he didn't like it. He cannot have that whole thing, that's 80%. <laughs> And you found that today? Last night. Last night? Oh my gosh, that was a lot of fun. Especially if you have kids. We did the little um, Goldfield little train. That was fun. That was a 20 minute ride just basically around the ghost town and just giving us the history and stuff. Sorry for the AC, it's really hot. Um, but it was about a 20 minute train ride. Kids um, under five were free, so we just had to pay for the two of us, which was like 12 bucks Four each. Bucks. Yeah, that was not bad at all. Um, and then everyone here was super friendly. Definitely a good place to go if you guys have kids because that was really fun. are headed to Sedona today. I'm so excited. Lucas, are you excited? Yeah. We're both excited. We're all excited. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to pray. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Starbucks drive-thru right now, but last night we basically ended the night at this place called Jenny's Ice Cream, which was so good. We did a flight of 10 scoops of ice cream, which we obviously did not finish, but it was such an experience for Lucas. He had so much fun like digging into all of that. Um, and just to celebrate our last night in Scottsdale. At our Starbucks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here and continue the rest of our trip in a whole separate video. I'm kind of trying to decide how I want to film this next video. If I want to film it more where I'm showing like behind the scenes traveling with kids and like how that sort of thing goes. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll just see how the trip overall goes. But we're very excited. Thank you guys for watching Sorry. today's video. Yes, I don't want to get copyrighted. So and you get like 30 seconds? No, I think you get 10, 10. seconds. No. Yes. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you guys in Sedona. Peace Bye, guys. out.